morning guys from this beautiful island Kopangan. Yes, this is my office for the next couple of months, you know, because I'm locked down in paradise. I didn't wake up early this morning, man, I slept very long. I don't know why, it, I woke up around 8.30 or 9, I think, or something. So it's pretty hot now, so I will keep the video short. I did read some news already. One of the news articles I read was about John McAfee, which is really cool because he's launching a new privacy coin. It's called Ghost. And in combination with his decentralized exchange, he's claiming that no government or other centralized organization can ever stop his project. This is a real cool development because, you know, we need to be able to have a privacy and we need to be able to have a decentralized um, exchange that protects us from all the exchanges, you know, that have been closed in the, in the past few years and where a lot of people lost money. So let me know what you think about this privacy coin, Ghost, and let me know which other privacy coin you love. Is there another one that you prefer? Is it, is it Verge? Is it uh, Monero? Um, you know, there are so many. Just let me know your private, uh, your, your, your favorite privacy coin. Oh my God, I'm not native English. I make all those English fuck ups in these videos, sorry. Talking about exchanges, uh, there was an announcement that a lot of exchanges saw a withdrawal of their reserves in the last couple of days since uh, this Black Thursday event. Um, I think BitMEX was losing 36% of their Bitcoins. Uh, there was, I think, even one exchange that lost 70% of their Bitcoins. Um, let me know what you think. Why are people um, withdrawing their Bitcoins from all those exchanges? I don't know. If, if it comes to Bitcoin, and we are talking about Bitcoin now, you know, Bitcoin price is really moving at the moment. It's going up, going down, and it's volatile a little bit. But what do you think will the next will be the next move? Is the next big move going to be to up to 8,400 8, or even to 10,500? Or is the next move going to be downwards and are going to retest you to the bottom, like 3K, 4K? Um, I really don't know at the moment. I'm, I'm not the best technical analyst, so I couldn't tell you. There are many uh, good te technical analysts around, so check their videos for what the uh, price is going to be. I love the one, the, I love the videos of um, Crypto Crew University. He simplifies all this difficult world of, of, of you know, of Bitcoin and, and crypto. So maybe check his channel. But um, I always zoom out. So for me, it's not a short term game. For me, it's a long term game. But in the short term, you know, I just now and then I play and I try to uh, I, try, I try just to increase my Bitcoins. Um, as I said, you know, this currency from, from John, the ghost coin, um, is all about privacy of, uh, for, for example, the governments. Talking about governments, by the way, did you see the tweet by the Prime Minister, uh, the Prime Minister of Australia, who is now saying, guys, if you want to get out of lockdown, oh, I'm sweating, then please, you need to start, accept that we track you guys with an app. So you need to give up your freedom so that we can track you so that you can get out of your house. I just want to know from you guys out from Australia, from my followers out of Australia, are you really going to allow this? Are you really going to allow your governments to track you so that you can get out earlier? Because I thought, I think that was the exact thing he said. If you, if we, if you let us track you, we can uh, stop the lockdown now. And if you don't let us track you, we can, you know, this lockdown can take a few more, more months. Um, this kind of fear and pressure created by governments uh, is really bad in my opinion. I don't understand why a government that should be doing everything right for the people now creates this 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 fear or this physical or mindset prison where people don't even know what to do anymore. You know, most people just always do what the government wants and now they want to be want you to be trackable and then they, they just become trackable. I'm going to walk into the shadow guys because it's really hard. Let me know what you think about that. Because um, in my opinion, not done, but maybe yeah, I'm just this freedom revolutionist that um, has a strange way of thinking. What kind of news did we see some more? Oh yeah, did you do you remember we talked about this um, 
uh, tokenization of assets and where this guy asked me well, what do you think about this and I told him okay I think that could be really cool for the real estate this now has become uh, true I just said it to uh, uh, I think was it two days ago in the video and now this big company in Germany in Berlin it's called Black Mamba Capital announced that people are able um, through an STO to invest in a huge real estate project uh, with a minimum of 500 US dollars which is really not that much money to invest in real estate and that's really cool that they lower down the bridge of becoming a real estate investor so now you can be a real estate investor uh, with, with, only, with only 500 dollars which is really cool I think many more um, I think many more tokenizations of assets will be seen in the next couple of years and months um, so keep an eye on it because if you want to be a real estate investor you can become one now in Berlin with 500 bucks do we have some more news the Bitcoin price we already talked about we already talked about John McAfee and his privacy coin yes I'm unstructured guys I'm walking in on the beach this is my office I, I don't have this notebook in front of me where I can see okay this I need to talk about this no I just try to you know freestyle <laughs> freestyle how do you call this a freestyler <laughs> yeah uh, did we cover all the things I want to speak about I didn't know for sure but one thing I say comes to my mind is was I, I did a tweet where I shared about COVID you know that um, uh, they might have found the one that created the virus the video was I think viewed 1.7 million times and since today it is uh, of course blocked you can still see my tweet but the media the media is disabled I don't know why they would disable the media if it's just uh, you know if it's just not true or maybe if it is true I just find it really strange that they are able to disable you know the freedom of speech and disable the freedom of this media um, sharing so I'm more and more leaning towards decentralized um, platforms at the moment I'm using library for backing up all my videos and posting new videos I'm using rebus as a social media app where I you know post all kinds of cool of pictures videos and texts check rebus I will put a link below because uh, there's an affiliate link of course so and uh, we can earn some bus the most important thing I forgot to mention about this real estate project of course it's beautiful that they are doing this in Berlin now but I'm an uh, I'm, I'm an ambassador of two other real estate projects that really are doing the same but then more blockchain um, and crypto industry related yes I'm sweating it's hot one of them is blockchain valley in Bulgaria Sofia where they are building a two million square meters of, of, uh, of smart city and that's going to run on a token and you can invest in real estate but you can also invest in other uh, stuff at blockchain valley which is really interesting just check the website you then you can get some more information and the other one which I'm um, ambassador for at the moment and which I'm really enthusiastic about is here on Koh Phangan. it's called House of Dao and House of Dao is going to be the digital nomad co-working co-living space um, with a huge focus on blockchain uh, projects and uh, blockchain startups and crypto people so if you ever thought about living on a beautiful island like I'm doing now and you want to combine this with working and supporting this blockchain industry for the better and for to improve this world then really check houseofdoubt.io because there's a, a really good team in it I'm part of the team as well and the building is amazing it's in the middle of Tong Sala and this building has all the features that a digital no co-working uh, place needs and the island is just amazing man there's a, a kind of a flow on this island and a, and a vibe on the island that just makes life very beautiful and just imagine living here working here and um, you know the living here is really cheap there are not so much cost of living in Thailand so that's really cool and at the same time you can build your project or support your project um, from a beautiful venue the idea is to create it here on Koh Phangan first and then copy paste it all over the world so you can you can be surrounded by the same people with the same mindset all over the world uh, while you support a decentralization of this world and where you support 
the people improving this beautiful world where we live together. That was everything I think I wanted to say today. This on the back there is Mr. Me. I'm going to say hi to Mr. Me because um, he's the best fisherman of the island. Um, let's see if he caught some fish. Um, I don't think, I think he's still starting. But everybody goes on fishing trips with Mr. Me because uh, he just knows where the fish is. And in Thai we say, Sawadi Kap, Mr. Me. No, he's not responding. He doesn't hear me because you hear the motor there, it's very loud. Um, yeah, he's a really cool guy. He's my neighbor. And, um, you know, he lives out of a fishing and it's really cool. In Thailand, uh, not everybody is able to trade Bitcoin. So some people still trade, <laughs> trade their skills. And his skill is fishing. Family-wise, we are doing okay. Everything is fine. We are very sad we couldn't celebrate uh, Songkran or it's called New Year, Sangran is New Year here in Thailand because uh, the government just cancelled um, all festivities and I can a little bit understand it because you know in Sangran you have this huge water fight and you uh, throw water at each other all the time that's why I made a video yesterday about the last Sangran we did as a family for the rest we just live this uh, happy family life the kids do some online schooling, some offline schooling um, I'm, I'm playing football on the on the beach every day with my uh, middle daughter Juna. She really wants to learn to play football, and I'm doing this. Um, I should start to train a little bit more because you know it's getting a little bit too. So, if you would want to advise me on which uh, online training program I could start to get a little bit more fit again, just uh, comment below because I would love to have a cheap or free one that you know I can just use to start to get started again because I really need to get into shape again because you know I think when you're healthy and your immune system is a little bit stronger and when your immune system is a little bit stronger you're not probably not going to die of some kind of virus or flu or whatever so that's what I wanted to say about our family we don't have any other plans not yet we, we, we were doing this tour as you know we need to stop the tour at the moment um, the car is in Bulgaria, we don't even know if we are able to pick up the car in the next couple of months, so probably we'll stay here in Thailand some, some longer um, to support, as I already said, to support the blockchain project here, House of Dao, and to build this beautiful um, environment for blockchain startups. Yeah, that's how I make the best of every situation. If I'm here, I find my lock, myself in lockdown, um, you know, that there always comes something on my path, and this time it's a beautiful project and I just enjoy supporting them to the fullest. Let's really check them, houseofdio.io. Oh my God, did you talk so much. That was it for today, guys. To remind you, let me know what privacy coin is your favorite one. What do you think of the new one uh, called Ghost from John McAfee? Please let me know why you think that 70% of the reserve Bitcoins of all the exchanges was withdrew, withdrawn. Yeah, my English is not that good always. Um, let me know what you think about this uh, real estate project in Germany, in Berlin. Would you become an uh, investor? Would you become a real estate investor if you could do it for 500 bucks? Uh, that I want to know your opinion on. I want to know your opinion about what is happening in Australia. Would you also really poo, become a trackable robot so that you can get out of your house? Or would you say, nah, fuck it. I'm going out no matter what they do or whatever, whatever they, what they say. Let me know if there are things that you want me to talk about, because just you know, comment below and I will uh, I will address that subject um, the next video. And do let me know what you think of Bitcoin. Is it going to go to 8.4k or are we going to retest the 3.4k region? Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to hit this bell button somewhere here. So that um, you will always be noticed on a new video. I wish you guys a very beautiful day. Um, like I always end my videos, uh, make the best of every day because you are in full control and your life will just be more beautiful if you just live the fullest 24-7 day in, day out. Thanks for watching the video and see you again tomorrow. I'm going to try to open a coconut now in a Thai style with a huge knife and because I want to have this fresh coconut and drink this. So if you want to see this, 
keep watching. If not, then just check in tomorrow again. Guys, thanks for watching. See you. Bye. Okay, guys, uh, I found my knife. <laughs> this knife I always use to open coconuts. Uh, let's see if I can, can find a coconut somewhere. Mostly they are near the palm trees. I already see one over there. Um, let's see if I can open it. Jolie is going to help me with filming because I cannot hold the camera and um, open the coconut. This is my beautiful daughter, Jolie. Say hello. Hi. Good morning. She just woke up. I always wake up my kids to film. This beautiful tree dropped this beautiful coconut. This one we are going to open. Let's see. Look how much coconut juice there is in it. Mm. You want some, Judy? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's also food, you know? So you drink it, mm. and you eat it. What more do you want? An office on the beach, fresh coconut. Oh. This is perfect and beautiful.